Many people need braces to move the large back teeth called molars, but this is often the slowest, most difficult step. Now orthodontists are moving these teeth more quickly with the help of two small magnets that push against each other. 12-year-old Joanna Afshan could feel the pressure from the magnetic force. After a while, just get used to it. It's not like anything like terrible. The orthodontist first places a retainer in the top of the mouth to anchor the front teeth. Next, one magnet is wired to a molar, and the other magnet is placed on the tooth next to it. These repelling magnets have a tendency to get away from each other, and by doing so, they move the teeth away from each other. Each month, the orthodontist tightens the wires so the magnets keep working. Now that the molar has moved back, we are starting to retract the second bicuspid here. Traditionally, alternatives like rubber bands or headgear move the back teeth, but many teenagers and adults simply don't wear them, which lengthens the treatment. The magnets work by themselves, and orthodontists believe their use shortens treatment time. It definitely will reduce it, and it will reduce it anywhere from a couple of months to a year or two. The magnets are about $200 more than headgear or elastic bands. Allergic reactions are rare. Some people notice tenderness because the magnets can rub against their cheek. But to most patients with braces, it's the time factor that counts. I just want to get my braces off. That's what I want to get. That's what I want to get off.